Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to this week's Impact Wrestling Media Teleconference. Two special guests with us here today. First, if I can welcome Johnny Impact. Welcome to the teleconference. Hey, what's up, guys? Happy morning. And secondly, and certainly uh, not last, but the reigning undisputed global champion, Eli Drake. Welcome. Hey, take me to the Introduce me first. But that's all right. How are we doing, everybody? Good morning. <laughs> all right. So, how how are the holidays for both of you guys? Eli, how are things for the uh, the champ? Everything's honky dory over here. I'd actually been on this call a little sooner if uh, Apple hadn't slowed down everybody's phone. Hmm. Johnny, how are things uh, for you over the holidays? They could have been a little bit better. I had the 10 pounds of gold that you guys had, but I would say they're still slightly better than the chefs. Well, guys, we head down to Orlando next week, tapings, Universal Studios, January 10th through the 15th. What are your thoughts? What are the thoughts? I know. thoughts are, here comes Orlando, here comes sunny, warm Orlando, except, wait, I think I heard it was about to snow down there. So uh, the world's turned upside down. Everything's upside down. But you know what's right? You know what's all going to be right? Is that Eli Drake walks in as a champion. Eli Drake walks out as the champion. That's what's right with the world right now. I think everything that uh, Eli just said speaks to what's wrong with the world. There are some people that are so delirious that they're convinced that what they believe is true. When in fact, if, uh, if for example, you repeal thought laws that have been passed in the Obama administration now after the fact, which seems to violate the Constitution and the whole point of checks and balances is that it's going to cost the government billions of dollars. But there is somebody out there that thinks they were correct when in fact they were absolutely wrong, just like the other guy on the phone talking to you all. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but uh, checks and balances. I'm going to check your balance while we're over here in Orlando, that's for sure. Are you going to give me a Scott Steiner mask promo? Because uh, that's how much sense that last line just made. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, before we open it up for uh, questions from the media, Eli, i got to ask you, you're going to be participating in the inaugural Impact Mini Golf Championship I've heard you actually are a three-time, uh, I think it was regional from what I, I read online, regional golf, mini golf champion. Is it A, is that true? And you want to tell us about your mini golf background? Ross, now, uh, when I come in here and then you start spouting out goofy things like that, and then they got a problem. I'll tell you this, I'm a champion anywhere I go. Uh, the only time I've been playing mini golf, you know, is sometimes you, uh, you take a young little lady out there and you say, hey, mama, let's go out here and play some golf. And then, you know, it's a good night. And then you take her home and it's an even better night. But let's be honest. Uh, hole in ones all around. You got windmills. You got dragons. Whatever's out there. Pirates. You could bet. One guy, whether it's in the ring or on the links, he's coming out on top. All righty. Well, that's... That's what I predicted, and that's what I thought, Eli. So we will, uh, at this point, open up for media questions. We ask that you identify yourself, identify your media outlet, and uh, one question at a time so we can get everybody on the uh, call to have a question, and then uh, we will come back for uh, seconds. Q&A session has started. To ask your question, please press star six. Uh, hello, my name is Stephanie for Stiocha Magazine. Um, Alberto our Patron made um complicated comeback. Uh, I don't know if I can say it like that. I don't think glory um, uh, changed the fate of uh, what I think was a great match. Um, what, what are your thoughts about his comeback and the, the threat he can represent? Uh, for the global championship, 
And I also want to wish you a very happy 2018, both of you, Ross, of course, and thank you very much. Um, hey, Johnny Impact here, a.k.a. the Mayor of Slamtown. I'll be the first to admit that uh, in the past I have been a big fan of Alberto El Patron. I love competition, and Alberto Pepe always brings it. What I don't love is Alberto sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Um, he calls himself the pride of Mexico, Mexico's greatest export. He prides himself on winning and being the best. But for somebody who says that, he certainly likes to hit people in the back. Um, if you wanted a match with me, and I'd even dare say if you wanted a match with Eli, either of us would probably be happy to give him a match for the Global Impact Championship. But uh, what I don't love is getting jumped. Well, you're damn right, I'd be happy to give him a match because if you want to be real for a minute, let's just be real for a minute. If you were rewind back to Down for Glory, guess who got five stitches that night? You're talking about me. Five stitches from a belt shot from Alberto El Patron. So you think that he doesn't have something coming to him because I haven't even gotten a chance to give it back to him yet. I've had a couple shots in on him. He's had a couple shots. But have I given him five stitches worth yet? No, no, but that's coming. Believe me when I say that is coming to him. So, when I put it like this, do I want to match with Alberto Del Patron? Do I want to fight with Alberto Del Patron? I tell you what, all I want is one good clean shot. Thank you very much. Hey guys, it's uh, Jack representing Cultaholic.com here. Um, my first question is for Eli and then hopefully a little bit later I'll get asked one to Johnny. But uh, Eli, um, you're known for your strength on the mic. Uh, how do you think a wrestler becomes a charismatic presence? Is it all natural ability, or are there certain ways to improve and kind of develop your mic skills? Well, this is, uh, if you ask me, I, I, I think it's uh, God-given ability and the fact that you've got to have confidence. I believe everything that I say. I am everything that I say. Uh, and so it, that's really the key. Uh, if you're going to believe what you say, then there's no way that it doesn't come across as 100% authentic. Uh, and so, uh, to ask that question, uh, then you've got to know that you believe what I'm saying. And you believe that I believe what I'm saying. And guess what? Johnny Impact believes that I believe what I'm saying. Alberto Al Patron believes that I believe what I'm saying. So, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, Believe that? Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Somebody else is going to catch phrase somewhere else. But here's what you've got to think about. There's one man who's on top of this thing. There's one man who's holding the title. And why is that? Ah, is it because I'm good with a microphone? Maybe. But it's because I'm even better in that ring. All right. Thank you very much. I, uh, I'll just add a little something because he's right. I, I do think okay. that he believes what he's saying. But to paraphrase everything else that he said, there's going back to the very first thing I said on this call, you need to be a little bit off, a little bit delirious if you're going to be Eli Drake, because your confidence is way higher than your talents, and you have to believe things that aren't true. You have to believe you're the best there is, even though that's not true. So that when you say stuff, I mean, he could pass that lie detector test. I bet you a million bucks if someone asked him who he thinks is the best. He would say him, and he wouldn't go set the thing off. The problem with that is eventually he's going to be faced with the hard truth that there are a lot of guys out there better than him, me, me, me. And I have a lot of names, so that's good. Enough. All right, thank you, guys, too. Hi, this is uh, Rory from Team Venom Media. Firstly, Happy New Year to you both. Um, you both had a fantastic year in Impact last year. Um, what are you? How are you looking to improve on that for 2018? Well, you're talking about the uh, guy who got his first world title reign right over here, and uh, you, you got to think. Uh, now it's a matter of cementing the legacy. It's a matter of 
lengthening that reign because you're talking about uh, what will be almost maybe 150, 200 days into his reign, and you can't think it's going anywhere. So at this point, it's kind of cementing the legacy as being uh, the greatest impact champion there ever was. It's, it's, but it's going beyond that. It's becoming one of the greatest wrestlers there ever was. Uh, and in order to do that, what am I going to do? I'm going to continue to win. I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to get bigger than I've ever been. Okay, thank you. Well, it's a good thing that we got those six sides in the ring because four sides might not be big enough to contain Eli's ego. Um, and yes, last year was a big year for Eli Drake, his first world championship run. Uh, my first world championship run was back in 2007. In Mundo 17, I've been calling it, I had my second, third, and fourth world championship runs. AAA, Lucha Underground, five-star wrestling in the UK, winning championships all over the world. 2018 is going to be Impact 18. The one title that's eluded me, the Impact Global Championship, is going to be sitting on my mantle next to two hand-painted portraits of my dog, Presley. Okay, well, thank you both very much. This is Stu Myrick from 104.9 The Horn at Austin Sports Wrestling. Uh, this question is for both of you and Johnny. It's good to talk to you again. Um, 2017 good, has probably been the most unique year, not only in impact wrestling, but in all of professional wrestling. Would you agree? And what do you see going forward in 2018? Absolutely. I think what we saw in 2018 was the first time we started to feel the voice of the wrestling fans. And talent started speaking louder than uh, propaganda that had been previously shut down fans throughts. So you saw the rise of independent wrestling, you saw the rise of impact wrestling, and then doing things like signing Johnny Impact to give the fans what they want. The alternatives to products that have been pre-existing for a long time started to rise in 2017, and I see that trend continuing in 2018. Eli, you got to get an answer from me, huh? Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, you, you talk about the independence, you talk about uh, Impact Wrestling, hell, we'll go ahead and talk about WWE. It's all there, whatever you want to talk about, but here's the deal. There's, there's two men on this phone right now who, I, I'll be honest, we're both brave in the world right now. Anytime you get either of us in a ring, uh, there's going to be a hell of a show for Hell, we were just in a, we were in a ring a couple weeks ago uh, where you got to consider two guys put on one hell of a show. You got Johnny Impact flipping all over the damn place. You got me punching him right in the damn mouth. So when you think about it, everywhere you look, wrestling, yeah, I guess it's booming in a way. But we still got work to do because in my eyes, in my mind, man, the whole world is a stage still, and we haven't even touched an inkling of the amount that I want to have their eyes on us. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, this is Jeremy Bennett from Sports Kita. This one's for Eli Drake. First off, congrats on becoming an Impact Global Champion in 2017. And what is your plan in 2018 to keep the title? Now, I know that Chris Adonis is a trusted ally. Are you looking to make Jimmy Jacobs another trusted ally as well as we saw in the last impact of the year? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's funny. People, uh, people online, they talk about the global champion, they talk about the world champion. One and the same, it's all the same thing, right? Now, if you believe in dumb stuff, you can call me the flat earth champion as well if you'd like. But here's what it comes down to. 
Chris Adonis is there up in a boy. He's there all the time. He's making sure things work just right. And guess what? I'm making sure things work just right for him as well. Now, Jimmy Jacobs, where does he fit in? Uh, you're talking about one-time business deal. Is there the opportunity to do further business in the future? Maybe. Uh, but for right now, uh, it is what it is. Thanks, champ. Hi, Johnny, and hi, Eli. It's Adam from the uh, Impact Line Show. Good evening to you guys. Um, obviously, Eli, you've been defending the uh, belt across all of the impact partnership uh, zones, if you like, uh, in Japan, etc. With uh, obviously Wrestle Kingdom going on today in Japan, is there anywhere that or any partnership that's not currently in place that you would like to defend your belt in, and who against? May I tell you this, uh, I, I, I stay out of most of the business ends of everything, but uh, if I could go any and everywhere, uh, I, I would love that. Uh, if we could cross lines and, and work interpromotionally, hell yeah, I'd love that. Um, will that happen? Nah, there ain't a chance in hell. Uh, because there's just so many, uh, there's so much territory involved, so many egos involved, things like that, it's just never going to happen. But... Uh, if I could do it, hell yeah, I'd love to go over to Japan and defend the title of New Japan. I'd love to see uh, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho. I'd love to see uh, uh, how I'd love to go over to the WWE and see uh, those guys over there as well. I'd love to go to uh, Ring of Honor. I'd love to do all that stuff. So is that going to happen? Uh, chances are pretty damn slim. But uh, would I do it? Absolutely. Big thrill. I'm like you, I, my glass is half full. I stay positive um, because there's nothing I would like more than to see more cross promoting between Impact Wrestling and companies like New Japan and WWE and Lucha Underground because that breeds competition and that breeds a stronger wrestling product for wrestling fans. And uh, I'm not worried, like some others might be, of being overshadowed, perhaps. But um, guys in New Japan that I'd love to take to Slam Town. Omega, Okada, Tanahashi, WD, uh, just Google that answer, it's out there. Um, the Bucks, Chris Daniels, Kazarian, um, guys from Ring of Honor, you know, all those dudes, uh, even if it was a tag with, uh, with me and Eli versus a couple of them, it would be a hell of an interesting show and something that you would only see on impact at this era in wrestling. So my fingers are crossed that some of those deals work out. This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com, and I had a question for Johnny. Uh, you mentioned your uh, accomplishments in AAA last year. You had a very uh, public social media war with Vampiro, and I'm just wondering if you guys squashed that beef or if that's still an ongoing situation. The office stooge Vampiro, the turd cutter from AAA, Vampiro. No, man. Um, like uh actually it's uh, it's it's still going they, they've got a show on the, the 26th of january that um they advertised me on again without asking and um i blame vampiro for all this and uh literally the, i've had a conflict for that show for for a long time and um i'm pulling off the show now on january 26th um unfortunately for vampiro and for them and uh i think uh vampiro means well but uh Sometimes, once a turd cutter, always a turd cutter. Suck it, fam. An email question follow up to uh, what you guys were just saying. What would it take to get uh, Eli and Johnny to tag team, and could you guys take down OVE, LAX, or any other team in Impact? Um, what would it take? A lot of people want to do this to show up. <laughs> I never miss booking. Are you talking? Go ahead. Go ahead, Jim. Do what you do best. No, I got heavy talk. I want to hear you. No. Okay. I, I, I was, I was, believe it or not, I must have had too much coffee this morning because for a split second I was going to say something nice about you. Um, oh, it would take a lot for the two of us to. Uh, 
team up because let me just say it's not easy to work with Eli Drake. I don't know how Chris Adonis does it. The guy deserves to be knighted. The guy deserves to be sainted. But um, Eli is undeniably talented. It could be take on OVE. Yes, could be take on LAX. Yes, could be take on just about anybody and everybody in the wrestling world. Yes, would I have a good time doing it? No. Well, I mean, I can double down on that sentiment for sure, but uh, when you talk about the, the exact topic that we just discussed, the question before this, as far as going around the world, getting different promotions, uh, giving them a run for your money, you can bet that there is no other team on earth that can touch the team of uh, Impact and Drake. Now, again, like you said, is that going to be a uh, sunny day in the park? No, hell no. But at the same time, you can bet that there are two guys. If you've got money... Take it out of the Bitcoin and put it on Impact and Drake because we would run the world. Hey guys, this is uh, Jeremy Bennett from Sports Key to this one from Johnny Impact. Uh, Kaya was unfortunately to, uh, not able to compete in Canada. Uh, how excited is she to get back in the action with uh, Impact Wrestling to start the new year? Um, well, she um, told me she's excited. pretty excited. Oh, wait, that's not from me. Never mind. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead and take it. Let, let him know. <laughs> um, she's, uh, she's unbelievably excited. Uh, she was super bummed that she, like, uh, the shenanigans that came up that prevented her from, from leaving the country for the, uh, the gimmicks in, uh, Ottawa. But, um, she's ready to bring the pain and leave the tire shapes staying all over the Orlando tapings. So, um, all the other knockouts in the division. Get your boxing headgear on because tires come with the veterans. No, wait. Hey, the Jim. performance center is the place that does the boxing headgear, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> hey again, guys. Uh, Jack from Um This question is for Johnny, but I'd quite like to hear both your thoughts. Um, so... Maybe the most memorable moment of Bound for Glory, or certainly one of the most memorable moments, was when uh, you, Johnny, uh, slid underneath the guardrail. Uh, how do you continue to come up with innovative offense and innovative things in matches? Is it an easy process, or does it take time to think of new things? Man, that's a, <laughs> that's a hell of a question. No, it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But... Uh, a lot of it has to do with something that Eli touched on earlier when you are talking about his gift to gab. It's uh, something that I've just always done. That's, since I was a kid, I thought about weird shit and um, looked at things a little bit differently. Uh, flying a lot of the concepts of parkour and wrestling, using the environment to your advantage in a wrestling match, going through a hundred or a thousand what-if scenarios, looking at every size, every side, every piece of the backstage apparatus and thinking about what if this, what if that, and going through all those scenarios like a crazy algorithm in your head before the match and during the match. And um, by that process, you come up with a bunch of weird, cool, outside-the-box stuff. Cool, thank you. Uh, Eli, do you, have any, do you have anything to add? Well, I'm not the one sliding on the guardrails. Uh, so, I, I don't know, man, I, I pretty much keep myself, uh, for the most part, but, uh, most of the stuff's pretty basic. Every now and then I'll hit you with something that's, uh, a little bit of flash and pizzazz, but for the most part, uh, I keep my ass on the ground. All right, uh, thank you guys, thanks. Hey guys, this is, uh, Jeremy Bennett from Sports Keen, and once again, this one is for Johnny Impact. Uh, Johnny, you had a, an underground movement, so to speak, elsewhere uh, to, to help you get to the top. Are you looking to create a similar faction in Impact Wrestling this year, or are you going to look to take uh, look to try to get to the top alone? Looking at different companies as completely different places with different strategies, and hence far, I've been really excited to be in Johnny Impact and doing everything on my own without help from anybody. And uh, that's, that's one of the things that I've enjoyed most about Impact is uh, clean slate, clean character, clean history, and um, 
sometimes I think the best strategy in wrestling is uh, figured out on the fly. As the vets say, you're going to call it on the fly. But um, I'm really enjoying um, being on my own. Definitely. Now, of course, uh, your your, uh, compadre on the phone here, Eli Drake, he does have uh, a little somebody in his corner, so it it probably wouldn't help to have a couple of friends, though, right? Of course it would help. But that that negates what I just said. A lot of the uh, the strategy, the thinking changes as soon as you introduce another person into the equation. Um, then like I said, I'm, a, I'm calling it on the fly. If, I, if I'm walking out to the ring and all of a sudden Eli's got Tom, Dick, and Harry and, and Chris Adonis, sure, I might need to bring some backup. But, uh, but for now, I think I've got the situation. Awesome. Thanks, Johnny. This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com again, and I have a question for both of you. Uh, last year, there was an impact partnership with Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan. I'm wondering if that's going to continue in 2018, and who from that company each of you would like to wrestle. Go ahead, Eli. Break the news to him. Tell me about Noah. <laughs> Well, uh, actually, of course, I was in NOAA uh, this past September. Uh, it, it was a hell of an experience. Uh, I'd love to go back over again. Uh, and and as far as that partnership continuing, uh, again, I, I don't know the business workings of, uh, of the company. Uh, I kind of just show up, I win championships, I go home. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I'd love to go over there, and I would love to, uh, well, as a matter of fact, have it. The current heavyweight champion is uh, our own Eddie Edwards, is it not? Uh, but I'd, I'd love to work with a lot of guys in the roster, but I'd definitely love to take that title off of Eddie Edwards, that's for sure. Agreed. One thing that uh, professional wrestlers like, it is championships. Um, obviously, uh, taking the 10 and a half pounds of gold off Eddie Edwards and Noah would be... Uh, Quite an accolade in the Johnny Impact Wikipedia page. But um, as far as the <laughs> partnership with Noah, um, I'm, what's that? Someone's a belt? Someone's a strap? Someone's a championship belt? Someone's a strap? Yeah. As far as the uh, partnership with Noah goes, um, I'm still making up my mind whether uh, it's going to continue as far as uh, um, Impact and Noah going into 2018. Hey guys, it's uh, Jeremy Bennett from Sports Keto once again. This question for Eli Drake. Are we going to get a special New Year's edition of The Fact of Life? And if so, what can we expect? Oh, man. I haven't done one of those in over a year. Uh, you never know. That's all I can tell you. Uh, there's going to be a lot of New Year's shenanigans. I'm sure there were a lot of New Year's shenanigans in my own home. Uh, so, sure, some of that might carry over to impact. Will that, uh, will that come out in a uh, fact of life? Uh, you never know. Keep your eyes open. A lot of us are missing it. That's why. <laughs> I hear about it you know, like on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. I would like to see that sitcom, The Facts of Life, rebooted, but recast, starring Eli Drake, Chris Adonis, and Jimmy Jacobs. And some of the knockouts. <laughs> That's just a, a personal. I, I, I'd enjoy that. We can get some money, honey. I got the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All righty, guys. I know your time was uh, precious. So I appreciate it. Uh, we'll open up for Johnny for one final thought. Well, like I said, uh, it's been real talking to you guys. Looking forward to Impact 18. Um, as soon as I hang up this phone, I'm going to hop on the cardio machine and head over to the gym and work on some of that parkour, as they say in Francais, um, and think of new and interesting ways to take Eli Drake to Slam Town and the rest of the Impact roster. So if you want to understand in more detail what I'm talking about, you need to watch Impact 
on Thursday nights on Pop TV. Follow me on Twitter at The Real Morrison. Follow me on Instagram at John Hennigan, the shoot name, and on Facebook at John Morrison. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Champ, the floor is yours. Well, in about, uh, let's see, 30 minutes, I'm going to walk down to my Corvette, I'm going to start that bitch up, and I'm going to drive down the street. I'm going to find myself uh, on the sunny beach in Santa Monica. Uh, I've got a lovely young lady who's over there waiting for me. She's going to uh, give me a nice massage on the beach. It's going to be a lovely day. And then, when I'm ready, I'm going to make sure that I get my ass in the gym, and I'm going to work like nobody works. Now, I understand, if you look at my uh, counterpart over here, He's doing plenty of work in the gym. The brothers put together, let's be honest. But he ain't no Eli Drake. And you know, that takes a lot of care. That takes a lot of, uh, let's see, a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It basically takes a lot of nurturing. And that nurturing comes in the form of proper foods and this and that, whatever. But let's be honest, uh, you need some ladies in your life. now. These ladies out here in L.A., you don't understand. The most beautiful women in the world. It's like they breathe life into me. It's like they, they, they make me younger, if you will. I'm Benjamin Button right now, moving backwards. I think I'm 23 again. But let's look at it this way. When I come in to Orlando, I already said it before, I'm coming in. Impact Wrestling Champion. When I leave Orlando, I'm leaving again. Impact Wrestling Champion. And guess what? Everywhere I go, I'm going to hear it. You're going to hear it with everybody saying, E, lie, drink, E, lie, drink. It's everywhere you go. You can't get away from it. And guess what? You're going to see the T-shirts everywhere. And by the way, get those T-shirts and shop impact, prowrestlingtees.com slash Eli Drake. Wherever you want them, you got them because you got one guy who's the global champion and it ain't anybody else but Eli Drake. And that's not an insult that. It's just a fact of life. Yeah. There you have it. Champ, thank you so much. Johnny Impact, thank you very much. Media, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Q&A session is over. Goodbye.